I am literally in love with our newest Aussie Ark resident, the New Holland Mouse. This year, Aussie Ark embarked on our very first collection mission to secure this rare and gorgeous little native rodent. We focused on our own Yindi Sanctuary that neighbours our more famous Barrington Tops Wildlife Sanctuary. We have a trap closed. We recently identified this species existing on our site thanks to ongoing fauna surveys. Like a new Holland mouse. Ecologist Mark Sanders helped make this discovery. We started trapping in autumn this year. Our team were out in the field every day for two months. We set traps late in the afternoon and returned early in the morning to check what we had found. This one's closed. We monitored traps constantly to ensure the safety of anything trapped. Oh, feels heavier. And also had to adjust things to maximise our success. Nah, it's empty. So in each trap, we're adding a little bait ball to attract the mice. We've got some coconut husk because the nights get really cold here. So in this way, the mouse will stay nice and warm until we find them in the morning. Catching a little 13 gram mouse is no easy feat. Everything has to be set perfectly. And often our traps are triggered by braver creatures like the native antichinus, bandicoots. Oh, we have a rat, a swamp rat. We also caught bush rats. The Aussie Ark team was so dedicated and filmed wonderful highlights on their iPhones. Finally, just as winter set in, we had secured enough mice to begin our breeding program. 10 founding members. I'm up here at Aussie Ark in our vet block with two New Holland mice, and I'm just going to pop them back in their traps, ready to go back to Summersby. These founder animals were whisked off the mountain and straight into a specially designed enclosure at our Conservation Ark facility in the grounds of the Australian Reptile Park. It's nice out there in the bush. <laughs> they seem to love captivity. How exciting. After their wild lives dodging feral animals and foraging for every mouthful in harsh conditions, suddenly they were in mouse equivalent of the Hyatt Hotel in five star rooms. They wasted no time enjoying the room service. We can't believe it. She's gone straight into her new home, straight to the food bowl, and grabbed her first little corn kernel and is just sitting there munching on it in front of us. She doesn't appear to be worried at all. So hopefully she's happy with her new home. New Holland mouse are beautiful little native rodents, which are very different to the exotic mice we hate having in our kitchens. They don't smell, they generally don't bite, and they're much more gentle. Oh my God, you're so cute. Isn't she adorable? Can you... We can tell them apart from the exotic mice by the lack of a small notch in their teeth and their bicolored tail. They also have a longer tail than the rest of their body and large round ears. What's most incredible about these mice is that they've been found at a much higher elevation than we suspected. They have never been found this high above sea level before. So this population could be quite special. We're currently testing their genetics to see if we might even have a newly identified subspecies. New Holland mouse breed from late winter to summer. So we aim to pair up our founding members very soon. So we hope to welcome young this upcoming season. Our breeding and rewilding program supports a national recovery program aimed at conserving this exquisite species. We plan to return youngsters to our sanctuary sites to bolster the wild population in the future. And this mission is important. This incredible little animal might be small, but it has one big role in the ecosystem, dispersing seed and fungi, contributing to the soil health and serving as food for native predators. The Barrington Tops needs more of them and we are helping. Oh, really? Huge thanks to the Aussie Ark team on the ground who secured this very first breeding group. We can't wait to see more little Holland mice born soon. And for now, we're delighted to see how well they're settling into their new surroundings. Each one of them has a different personality and we're all so in love with them. Please help Aussie Art continue this vital work in saving the New Holland Mouse by donating today at aussieark.org.au.